Okay, welcome back to my channel Math Mode and really interesting challenge today, 3 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to 5. Exponential equation, seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so in this video I'm going to fully explain you how we're going to solve it correctly and step by step. 3 to the x, 3 to the x equal to 5, so let's rewrite this question right here, so we have 3 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to 5. Okay, so how can you find our x from this uh, question? First of all, I want to show you a really great trick which implies, which simplifies us a lot this question. Let's uh, take this 3 and let's um, factor this 3 outside these parentheses. So we have 3 to the power x, if we factor it, inside parentheses we have 1, so from this we have 1, and we have plus 3 to the x equal to if you factor uh, 3 to the x, we have we have 1, obviously, so equal to equal to 5. If you don't understand this step, just take a look closely. So right here, if you have 3 to the x plus 3 to the x, we add absolutely the same expression. So for example, this is our a, and this is our a, so absolutely the same expression. So if we add a plus a, we have 2a. So in as, as a result, we can easily write this 3 to the x plus 3 to the x as 2 times 3 to the x, yeah? So, and we have absolutely the same expression right here. So we have 3 to the x times 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So we have 2 times 3 to the power x equal to 5. So this is our first step, which simplifies us a lot. What are we going to do next? Take a look closely what we're going to do next. Let's divide both sides by 2, because right here we have x, and right here we have um, our constant. So let's bring this constant from left to right. So for this, let's divide both sides by, by 2. Okay. If we divide both sides by 2, what do we have? We have 3 to the x, yeah, 3 to the x, because from here we can easily cancel this. If we have 2 and 2 right here, so we cancel 2 from here, 2 from here, so 3 to the x equal to 5 over 2. So 3 to the x equal to 5, 5 half, yeah, so 3 to, 3 to the power x equal to 5 half. Okay, this equation. How can we solve it? Of course, according to according to log, we can easily we can easily solve this. Let's take log on both sides. Yeah, so let's apply log on both sides. So we have log three to the x equal to log five over two. Okay, five over two. Five over two. Okay, right now the main log property x jumps right here because this is the most popular log property. So we have x. But let's write this right here because it's a much bigger space. So from here, yeah. So x log 3. So x log 3 equal to log 5 half. Yeah, log 5 half. Okay, let's separate this. Okay, log x log 3 equal to x. Uh, log of 5 half. What are we going to do next? Of course, uh, uh, log 5 half, we can easily write it as a subtraction, okay? Because right here we have a, a division, so we, according to log property, we can easily write it as log 5 minus log 2, okay? So we have x, x log 3 equal to log 5 minus log 2, log 5 minus log 2, minus log 2. Okay, right now the final step, let's divide both sides by log 3. Because right here we have log 3, we have only our x, we need to, to have only our x. So let our x equal to, let's divide from both sides, from here we cancel this, and it appears right here in our denominator, so we have log 3 in our denominator, log 3, and in our numerator we have log 5 minus log 2. This is our solution to this question. Maybe some students interested in uh, approximately value to this challenge. I find it for you. So from here, x approximately equal to. In our numerator, we have we have uh, 0 0.698. In our denominator, we have log 3 equal to 0 0.477. So x approximately equal to 0 0.83. Four. This is our approximately solution to this challenge. So let's write it. Right here we have our answer. Yeah, x answer. So this is our general answer. For your exam, you can easily write it like that. But if you love to use your calculator, you can easily find approximately a solution to this challenge and x approximately equal to 0 0.834. Okay, I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you understand this uh, challenge, and I wish you all the best, see you in the next videos, if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that definitely helped me out now, for this particular video, it helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make a new content every day, and see you in the next video, thank you for your support, and have a great day.